welcome. I'm Emeril Lagasse, and welcome to the essence of Emeril. You know, I'm going to devote the entire show today to something near and dear to my heart, and that's pecans. You see, pecan is the nut of the tall chicory tree, which are actually native to America and are widely grown in parts of Georgia, Oklahoma, Texas, and of course, Louisiana. And we use them in all kinds of different ways, especially for those delicious pralines. Now, the pecan gets its name from pacan, P-A-C-C-A-N. It's a Native American word meaning nut with hard shell to crack. So, what I thought we would do is talk about my friends down there in Louisiana, all those pecan orchards. Hello, how you doing today? And uh, I'm going to make a couple of some of my favorite things with pecans. Now, one of the simplest simplest things as a little snack or a spice pecan or what I call skillet spice pecans but before I can show you how to do them let's take a look a little bit at some pecans these here are pecans that come from Louisiana actually a very close friend of mine and they're very simple to crack either with a cracker a knife a steel you can even for that matter use the back of a spoon but basically, when you're shelling pecans, you just sort of crack it open. And when you shell pecans, you want to be careful to not break it in a lot of pieces because the nut has a tendency of being split into four pieces. But the prize pecans are actually the ones that I have right here, which are the full pecan halves. And the thing about pecans beside pralines is that you can use them in different crusts and delicious pecan pie or pecan, I guess, depending on where you're from. And um, as I said about this little snack food of spiced pecans, they're actually one of my favorite, and I thought I would share them with you. I got a hot skillet, really, really hot. and. What I'm going to do is take a little butter, just some whole butter. And before the butter actually begins to start really browning and getting cooking, you want to add a little bit of brown sugar. Add a little bit of brown sugar. And put it back on the heat. And then what you want to do is sort of get the sugar hot enough from the skillet and with the butter to begin to start getting caramelized. And now you're going to see that happen in just a second. You see, and once that sugar, as it's doing right now with the butter, begins to get really, really hot and caramely, and it's starting to turn colors. You see that? What we're going to do then is we're going to add some, some spice. Now, in Louisiana, most of the time what they do is they just add some cayenne pepper to that. And the sugar and the spice of the pecan pepper is really fantastic. But right here on the essence, I thought I would add some essence. So I'm going to add a little bit of essence. And just when you do that, you don't want it to do more time. You add some pecans to it. You see that? Add some pecans to it. And then you just want to sort of toast and coat, just like I'm doing, right like that. You see that? You just want to sort of toast and coat just for a minute or two. You can see how the sugar is starting to uh, get really good and gooey, and it's starting to stick to them. But you know what the great thing is about these is that once they cool, they even get better once they cool. So the good thing to do is then, once you get them toasty a little bit, is you take those skillet pecans and you set them right there on your, and then you just let them cool, okay? 
And boy, are they delicious spiced up. The sweetness and the spiciness makes Louisiana just come on home even closer. After the break, I'm going to make up a con crusted fish. Without a word, this dish is dynamite. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Essence of Emerald. Welcome back. Spice pecans. Mmm. I'm Emeril Lagasse, and uh, thanks for staying with me right here on the Essence of Emeril. You know, I want to get started on making this little crust. So, um, what I want to show you is that I'm going to make a little relish as well as I'm going to make a little crust for our fish. Watch this. I'll take a little cup of flour, simple cup of flour, and Take a little bit of pecans, you see? Maybe about two cups, two to one ratio. And um, put a little bit of essence. Take a food processor. Now, <clears throat> What we have now what we have is some pecan flour. You see that? You just got some pecan flour. Now you could do this with other nuts as well. Now, what I want to show you is I've got my pecan flour and I've got a little bit of egg wash right here. And I'm going to get some regular seasoned flour that I'm going to add a little bit of essence to, a little magic to, just a little bit of that great seasoning. And that's going to be for the crust of my fish. Now, what kind of fish? Hey, I got some lemon fish from the Gulf. I mean, another name is called cobia. So. That's what kind of fish. And then I got to season that fish both sides, so both sides taste good. And then we're going to dredge it in this seasoned flour. Then into the egg wash. And then it gets dropped right inside of my pecan flour. So we get it all good and coated. Hey, you can do this with scallops. You could do this with shrimp. <clears throat> See that? Now that's a Louisiana fish. <clears throat> now. Egg wash right into my flour. <coughs> Excuse me. All those pecans. Woo! But think about, you know, I, I, I do this, this technique with this pecan flour, walnut flour, almond flour, you know, peanut. It, it does so many things that you, can, that you can crust with that. So that's how simple that is. Now, now that I've got my fish that's really good and egg washed and in that seasoned flour and got all of that taken care of now, what I want to do is I got a skillet getting really super hot here. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take some oil.
and I'm going to start sauteing my fish. And it's got to be hot. Add a little bit of seasoning on there. You can always add a little bit more oil. The nuts are going to absorb that. Now let me give you one tip. Did you see how thick that lemon fish was? Good thing about doing these crusts, you can start them in the skillet. Then you can finish them right inside of the oven. But before we do that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, make a little relish. I've got some pecans right here and shallot. green onion, some red pepper. Look at how green that oil is. That's some good olive oil right there. A little extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. Now, we've got all of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little, just a little zip. And what we're going to do and what I chose to do for that little zip is just a little bit of fresh lemon. And uh, you don't have to add citrus, but and watch how much I'm going to add. I'm not adding all that much. I'm maybe adding a tablespoon, a couple of tablespoons. And then we're going to just fold all of those ingredients right there. And we're going to add a little bit of, just a little bit more of that spice. And then what I decided to do was I got some, some crab meat. I had a little bit of crab meat. I picked through it, got all the shells out, some beautiful crab. Because we got some beautiful crab down there in Louisiana. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold that in. Now, let's check on our fish. Oh, you see that nice crust? Look at that. You see that nice crust? And it's like I told you. You know, you get that thing cooking away, just like it is. Obviously, that fish is very thick. I mean, look at the size. I'm going to put that over on the side right here. Look at the side of that. You see how thick that is? That's got to be two, two and a half inches thick. You see that? So what we're going to do to make sure that that fish is cooked properly, hey, that's okay. We're just going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Not all fish is thin and Lean and mean. You just pop it right in there. Got my oven on about four or five hundred degrees. We're going to just cook it for about ten minutes. Look at this. Our relish is looking good. It's tasting even better. And when we come back, I'm going to top off this recipe with a great sauce, Nolan style. Stay with me. We'll be right back on the Essence of Emerald. Hey, welcome back. I'm Emeril Lagasse, and now it's time to make the sauce, as they say. Well, pecans. These beautiful things right here. I love pecans. Pecan pie, pecan ice cream, pralines, praline ice cream, pecan crusted fish, pecan crusted chicken, pecan crusted scallops. You get it? You can do all kinds of things with pecans. Now, we've got our great relish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you a Nolan's sauce for this dish. And um, what we're going to do is I've got a hot skillet. And just like those hot skillet pecans that we did earlier, huh? And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the pieces of the pecans and what we're going to do is we're going to cook them up. Going to toast them, if you will. You smell that already? Camera three? You're drooling over there. Take it easy. All right. We're going to just kind of let them just get nice and little toasty. 
Then, what we're going to do, I'm going to pull this off for a minute. Now, you're probably saying, what was that? Was that bayou water? Actually, what that was, was a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of shallot to that. Whew. A little shallot and some lemon juice. You see that? We're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to that. One or two lemons. We'll take a couple of those seeds out of there. Now, the reason why I took it off the s stove is because now I want to add a little bit of essence to that. And we'll probably add a little bit of chopped parsley and a little bit of green onion. And then the option is totally up to you whether you want to start mounting this with a little butter or what I started doing is I started slowly drizzling in some olive oil, just some really good olive oil, a little bit at, the, at a time. Most of the time it's just done with butter, you see? We'll do that with just some good old olive oil right in there. Because olive oil can be used as an emulsion too, right? Then, got that great flavor. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that right on the bottom there. We're going to use that for our base our sauce, or what we call down there in New Orleans, our Creole Meunier sauce. And then, I got a little bit of shallot left over, and I'm just going to add a little bit of shallot just around there. Now, we're going to go check on our fish, because our fish is probably perfect at this time right now. So we're going to check on our fish. Woo! Does that look fantastic or does that look fantastic? Look at that. Cooked, nice and juicy. It's not dried out and uh, really, really phenomenal. Now, we serve a lot of these combinations at the restaurant. So to finish this up, I'm going to re-season our fish a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of those essence right there. And I'm going to build up our plate. Because now what I'm going to do with some simple garnishes is I'm going to add a little cluster garnish here. And uh, we just do a little cluster garnish. I love just using simple ingredients, making beautiful food, food of love right here on the essence. We're going to add a little cluster of red pepper. Just like that. Now, we get to the serious stuff. We're going to take our relish, that delicious relish of pecans and crab meat. You see that? And we're going to stack up that relish just like that. And then we're going to take our beautiful piece of fish. Now, if you're going to serve one piece, I would just serve it right on top. Okay? Just like that. But if you're always craving food because you're bananas about food, then you serve two pieces like I'm going to serve, just like that. You know why? Because I'm going to eat this in a few minutes. Now, that's pecan-crusted lemon fish with a delicious pecan relish and a pecan sauce. And woo! Man, have you got a great dish. Try it on your favorite fish. I had a very, very super-duper letter. Dear Emerald, my husband never misses any of your shows. He thinks you're the greatest. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, he's always trying your recipes. You've been so kind to send recipes uh, for the shows. Thank you so much from Bristol, Connecticut. Francois, Francois, thank you. And thank you all for joining me today on The Essence of Emerald. See you tomorrow.